Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to capture HD video into Final Cut. Right? So we have a little consumer uh, HD camera here. It's the Vixia HF20. Shoots on um, internal memory and uh, flash memory. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the best setup for capturing into Final Cut. Right? So uh, first we have um, to set up Final Cut and we have it open here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to audio video settings and then uh, right up on top here you have your sequence presets and capture presets and then over on these tabs you have sequence presets and capture presets. They're all the same. The only difference is that in the summary you just pick and choose one and uh, in the sequence individual tabs here you choose um, you can edit the custom settings. The ones that are locked though, you can't edit those, but uh, these right here, you should be able to edit them sometimes, maybe. See like this one right here, you can edit and change some of these settings here, but um, we're not going to do any of that. We're going to leave it to, um, uh, leave it on the summary. All right, so, um, for this particular um, capture that I'm doing, you have to kind of know what it is you shot in. So this particular camera shoots in many different modes. It shoots in 24p, shoots in uh, 30p, or uh, what is it, 60i. And my footage, I know that I shot in uh, uh, 60i. That's the frame rate. And I know that I shot in 1920 by 1080. Right? Some other cameras might have different modes like a 1440 by 1080 or uh, 1280 by 720 and so if you know what you shot in that's when you would choose uh, one of these settings here. So for HD video uh, the codec that works best in Final Cut is going to be Apple ProRes. Right? So uh, here we have a plethora of Apple ProRes codecs. Now a few of these um, I'll show you is the the HQ that's like high quality. There's the LT which is like a light version. You can consider it that. And then there's the regular <coughs> where it's just in the middle. Right? So uh, what I like to do is I like to go with the LT. Um, it's a lighter version and uh, it's easier to work with. Uh, the file sizes aren't extremely huge so it's better to work with that. Um, the HQ, there really isn't that much of a difference, a noticeable difference between the HQ and the LT and the, the regular one. So that's just my personal preference. You can go with the HQ if you want uh, for the highest quality, but the file sizes are extremely large. Right, so uh, like I said, I shot in uh, 1920 by 1080 at 60i, which is right here. Right. If I shot in uh, 30p, I would choose this one. If I shot in 24p, I would choose this one. If my camera did 25p or 50i, then I would choose those, but my camera doesn't do that. So I'm going to choose the uh, 60i 1920 by 1080. Right. So the capture preset is set to Apple ProRes 422. Now what that means is that when the uh, footage transfers from the camera to Final Cut, it uh, converts it to the Apple ProRes codec and that um, uh, makes it so that it's uh, you can edit the film or footage in uh, Final Cut. Right, so everything else leave the same and you just press OK and now we're all set up uh, Final Cut. So now we're going to start doing um, the transferring. Uh, what I got to do now for this particular camera is I'm going to power it on. I'm going to connect the USB cable and I'll get a menu screen. And if I switch it over to playback, that's when it asks me uh, that I want to connect. So I'll connect it to the printer computer. So it's going to basically bring it up as a external drive. You'll see it pop up on your desktop as a, as a hard drive. 
So let me do a command H and hide. All right, so now here's the two drives that's built in. One is a built-in hard drive. The other one is a memory card that's inside of the, uh, the system. So uh, now that I've mounted the camera, everything's ready to go to be captured. Final Cut will now recognize the device. So you go up to File. Now you do a Log and Transfer. and it's going to detect your device through USB right so now here are the clips that's in the device right so there's uh, clips that are in the memory card and the hard drive so you can do a little bit of preview you can um, make it in and out points to bring in specifically what you want to bring in but I typically like to just bring in everything so what you do is you take your clip here and you click and you drag and you just drag media here right so let me see if I could find a short video like this one and click and drag and you let go and so what it's doing now is that it's transcoding it to the Apple ProRes 422 codec so that you can edit it in Final Cut because uh, by default, the file that you have is actually um, uh, an M2TS file or MTS file. That's a file that uh, that it records in, the camera records in. And what you can do is also uh, transfer a file from a folder. So let me show you what the folder structure looks like when you record on your camera. All right, so here's an example of uh, the file structure. On the camera itself, inside the memory, you're going to have a folder. It's going to be called uh, AVCHD, right? And the folder where all your clips are, uh, where your camera records your footage, is in the BDMV folder. And then right here in stream are your actual clips. These are the MTS clips, right? But you can't just drag this folder into Final Cut and try to edit video. Uh, what you do have to have is this BDMV folder at least. Right, so you have to have this folder and everything in this folder for it to uh, recognize. So let's go back to Final Cut and let's add a folder. So right up on here on the top left, click on that and we'll go to AVCHD, click on open and now it's finding the clips inside of that folder and here's all the clips that it just added and so what I can do is just click and drag a clip in and it's transcoding it now and so once it's finished transcoding you can close out log and transfer and here are your clips that's ready to be edited just drag it down into your timeline and now it's a clip that's ready to be edited. Alright, so uh, that pretty much concludes the setup of capturing login transfer. Thanks for watching. Peace.